If you want to shape up your entire body, but you feel that most traditional toning workouts are just too difficult for you to do, especially if you're somebody dealing with a chronic pain issue like fibromyalgia, then this workout is definitely for you. I have specifically designed it to be easy to follow, yet extremely effective if you're consistent with it. So that way, in no time flat, you'll not only see changes in how you feel, but also in how you look. So if that sounds good to you, come join me. Okay, let's just start with our warm up. Take your feet out wider than shoulder width apart. And we're just gonna do a couple of nice big inhales and exhales. So bend those knees, inhale up, catch your breath, and exhale down. Let's do that three more times, just because it feels so good. And exhale down. And I know it's probably really difficult for you to work out, especially if you're dealing with chronic pain, but just do what you can do today. Stop whenever you feel fatigued or you just can't do anymore, okay? I don't want you to feel bad from this workout. I want you to feel energized and great, okay? So just listen to your body. So you're gonna come down into an inner thigh stretch here. Just do a little pulsing here because the body is not warm yet, so we don't wanna hold any of the stretches in the warm up. And we're gonna need this stretch because we're working our inner thighs today like crazy. Okay, switch sides. Yes, smile, be proud of what you're about to do. It's so good for your body. Very good. We're gonna come down into like a little cat stretch. Arch your back, roll your shoulders back. Let's do it again. Down, cat stretch, roll your shoulders back. Bring your feet together. If you need help with balance, you can grab a chair. But we're gonna grab our toe and hold, and then tap down. Hold. We gotta stretch out those quads because just like with the inner thighs, we are gonna heal those quads today. Last one. We gotta get them warm. Let's turn five. Hold your abs in, it really does help to stabilize you. Awesome work. Last one. Okay, let's stretch out the arms, just swing them forward and back. If you have any pain in your neck, this is really necessary to do this. Don't skip the warm up, please. Never skip the warm up. You definitely, definitely need to loosen up those muscles especially if you're dealing with pain, okay? Let's take one arm and down, other arm. Let's do that again. And down. And down, okay, take one arm up and down. Just this, I'm getting warm. How about you guys? That's a good sign. Very good, inhale up. I think that was a good little warm up for us. We got all the different muscles heated up. Last one. <sighs> Great work. Let's get ready for round one. Okay, let's get right into round one. We're gonna do all standing work for the first set. So I have my little timer here. We're gonna do 40 seconds of work, but then we're gonna do a 30 second stretch to relieve any of the tension we created while doing the work. So it won't cause any unnecessary fatigue to your body. So let's get started. We're gonna go into a back stationary lunge and you're gonna come down. First round, your arms are gonna go out into an airplane mode and you're just gonna circle. Now depending on your pain level today, you can come up a little bit higher here. Don't forget to hold your abs in. Tuck your hips up and under. If you're feeling really ambitious, you can grab those two pound weights today. Or if you're having a lot of pain in your neck, you can bring your elbows bent and do little circles right here. Ah, you feel the burn in your quads. Halfway done. 
Let's go back. Let's change it up a little bit. Back arm circles. Back arm circles. Woo! Okay, 30 second rest. You earned it. Stress out those shoulders. That one worked. I didn't even grab the weights for that one. And the next one, we don't need weights either. Great work. Oh man, I already feel so much better. Okay, so let's get in position. Let's switch legs. You're gonna come back down, get ready. Arms forward, and we're just gonna do little pushes, forward and back. Again, you can grab your weights if you feel like it. You can come up higher if you need to. Or if you're feeling really spicy, you can grab that front heel up whenever you pull those arms back. Hold your abs in. Woo! I feel the top of the thigh just shaking, yes? You guys? You can go slower with the arms too. You don't have to go at that pace. Just listen to your body, do what feels good for you but still challenges you, that's the key. I know it's really hard when you're dealing with pain to know your limitations because you're always in pain. But if you're having like a really, really, really bad, just fatigue day or, or pain day, then just cut back. You know your levels. You know what's a good day, you know what's a bad day, right? So on the good days, you can do a little bit more. You can afford to do a little bit more. Okay, so for the next little set, we're gonna go into stationary squats with elbow taps. Here we go. Come into a low tap, put your hands on your shoulders and just do little taps right here. Again, depending on your pain level today, you can speed up or slow down with those taps. You can grab weights or you can come up higher with the squats. If you're feeling really good today and really spicy, you can alternate heel lifts. See why it's still challenging? Yes. This workout has been designed so that you can advance and grow over time. So that way your body is continually guessing, your muscles are guessing, and they continue to grow and change shape. And over time you just look better and feel better and it's all good, so. Stretch it out if you need to grab a chair, you can. No shame in that. Balance is tough. I don't even know how I'm doing this right now. Definitely have a hard time with that. Okay, so for the next little set, I am gonna grab my five pound set of weights just because we're working the hamstrings. But you don't need weights, okay? Feet together, slide the weights down, and then when you come up, row. So this might be difficult for you if you have low back pain. So. I'm gonna show you the modification. You just go halfway down and then all the way up with the row. Halfway down. Again, you do not need those weights. I'm gonna show you all the way down and the key is skimming the weights along the legs. That's where you're gonna feel the burn in those hamstrings. The rounds go so fast. Man. Yeah, we're breaking a sweat already. Great work, stretch it out. Stretch out those hamstrings. If you need to stretch out the upper back too, you can do that. I love this stretch, how about you guys? It's our little dessert in between those sets. Okay, so for the next little set, we're just gonna do leg lifts behind. Um, you can bend your legs if you need to or you can keep them straight. You can also grab a weight and bend your legs if you wanna do this one, okay? So grab a chair, and you're gonna lean either on the seat or at the top of the chair. Whatever feels good to you. We're gonna start with the right leg. So lift it up and then down. Point that toe and squeeze that booty, okay? That's the key. So if you can't do a straight leg, it's just too painful, then bend your leg and come halfway down. Less range of motion, but still extremely effective. Infective? It's one of those days. Effective, there we go. I know you guys understand. I tell you what, 
I do so many takes with these workouts because I constantly forget things, you know? <sighs> Just forget, forget, forget. I can't even generate words most of the time. You guys understand, yes? Definitely a challenge, but so much fun to do. I'm so happy to be doing these workouts with you guys. I know you understand. Okay, let's switch legs, let's get ready. Get into position. I like with my hands on the seat just because I think it puts less strain on my neck and low back. So you guys do what works for you. Do you, do you. Hold your abs in, squeeze your booty. Yes, if you don't squeeze the booty, it's not going to be as effective. Think about the muscle that you're working It'll help you to work it a lot more effectively, believe it or not. <sighs> Again, you can bend those legs and do a half lift, but make sure you lift as high as you can with that leg so you feel it in the booty. Ah, we earned that stretch. Feels so good. <sighs> Tell you what, even if you can only get through the first round, you did amazing, amazing. And you can come back later today or tomorrow or the next day and do the next round. Totally adaptable for your needs. Okay, so for this last set of the round, we're gonna do a stationary inner thigh lunge like we did in the warm up with alternating tricep kickbacks. So I have weights, but you don't need to grab weights if this is your first time doing it. Here we go, alternate kickbacks. Again, you don't have to come down this low with the inner thigh lunge here. You can come up higher. That's totally fine. Don't forget to breathe. Don't forget to breathe. And if you've done this workout several times and you feel like this is just too easy, then go ahead and grab your heavier weight. The triceps are a littler muscle but you can handle five pounds without it being too straining, probably. Woo, okay, I felt that everywhere. How about you guys? I felt it here, I felt it in the back of my arm. <sighs> yes, so I'm gonna stretch out my triceps. You guys can stretch out your inner thighs if you need to. inner thigh stretch right here. Love it. Okay, let's switch sides. Come down. Now keep your elbows pinned into your waist and we're just gonna do little bicep push outs. So you're keeping the forearms parallel to the floor. Your palms are facing the ceiling. These are little movements here. The bicep is a very big muscle. So you can switch to your five pound set if you feel that this is just too easy. Again, you can come up higher on that lunge if you need to. Don't worry about it. I don't want you to feel overly fatigued from this workout. I want you to feel energized. So do what you need to do to feel energized. Let's set these over here. Great job. You completed your first round. Water if you need it. We're gonna get a 15 second break. You earned it. Stretch out your inner thigh. And like I said, if you need to, stop the video here, come back later, or continue with the next round. Okay, you made it to the next round. You are amazing. So we're gonna start on the floor. This entire round will be on the floor. So yes, it's super relaxing, but effective. Okay, so we're gonna come down onto our backs. If you need to support your low back, you can grab a towel to make, to make everything a little bit easier here. Okay, so we're gonna start off in a stationary bridge 
squeeze your butt the entire time. Don't just let it hang there. Squeeze it up and in with a slow chest press. Now I have five pounds because this is a big muscle, but you can start with two pounds. Here we go. Squeeze your butt, chest press. And again, if you've done this workout several times and you feel that the five pounds just isn't challenging enough for you, then you can always grab eight pounds, 10 pounds, but go slow. Try not to do it if you're feeling a lot of pain. Squeeze your butt, squeeze. Bonus, I love these compound exercises because we get more muscles worked in the same amount of time. Plus it amps the heart rate. I just love that one so much. Don't want to stop. Yes. That one was amazing. Stretch out your chest. Okay. For the second part, you're going to come back down onto your back. And if you need to, again, you can grab the towel or you can help support your low back with your hands. Bring your knees up to the center of your core. I can't talk today. Take your knees out about 12 inches apart and you're gonna do little drops, knee drops, with a little lift at the top. That lift is where the work is, okay? So you see why you need a towel maybe? So you don't feel it in your spine. If you've done this workout a lot, you're feeling good, you can straighten the legs. But sometimes that puts a lot of strain on your spine. Yes. Okay, just stretch it out. I know you want to stay here. I know, I know, I know, but the stretch is coming soon. Just enjoy these 30 seconds. Great job. Okay, so for the next set, we're gonna work the outer thighs. We're gonna do one side at a time. I have my two pound set of weights. You can grab heavier or no weights depending on how you're feeling. I'm gonna come down onto my elbow, but you can always rest your head on your arm if you have pain in your forearm. Let me move these weights here. Okay, so the key here is to stack your hips and take either a straight bottom leg or a bent bottom leg. And then your top leg, you're gonna point your toe at the corner of your mat and just do little lifts and then halfway down. Here we go. We wanna make it count. So we're gonna go nice and slow. With the outer thigh, it's easy to just kinda of like flop it around, but you won't be doing any good for you. You'll just be causing excess pain. So just go nice and slow. Tap your toe to the floor if you want, or you can just do halfway. With this weight, I definitely feel it faster. Yes? So you do not need a weight by any means. Oh my goodness. Woo! Lift it up. Okay, you earned that stretch. For sure. Okay, if you can, you can cross that leg over the bottom bent leg and stretch it out. Oh, so good. So, so good. Definitely challenging, right? But it also feels good. So that's the beauty of moderate intensity exercise. Whoops, I'm talking too much. Ah, okay. Hopefully you guys are on the other side because it doesn't strain you like high intensity training does. It increases your energy, not decreases it. So that's why I love it. I mean, who doesn't want more energy for the rest of their day to get more things done? I know I do. We need it. We have a lot to do. Oh, I'm slacking off. Okay, I'm gonna kick it higher here. But I'm not having pain in my legs. So if you're having pain, you don't have to do what I'm doing. I think on that side, I cheated a little bit. Yeah, got started late. But it was so good. 
40 seconds, that's all you need to feel the burn, for sure. Stretch it out. Okay, so for the next set, we're gonna work the arms. Now, for this one, I'm gonna use my five pounds, but that's because I don't have a lot of pain. But um, I would start off with your two pounds or water bottles for this one. Here we go. You're gonna take your arms out halfway and then pull them back with your elbows to meet each other. Squeeze your abs, pull them in, sit up tall. Don't forget posture here and smile. You're almost done with this round. Again, you don't have to do full extensions here because this can put some strain on your neck. Only do this if you don't have the pain. You can do little half pushes here. Just like we did with those biceps, little half pushes. And isolate the upper back. Squeeze those lats together. Ah, yes. Very, very good. I think I said I was gonna grab my five pounds. Yes, I did. See? So forgetful. So, so, so. Do people say that to you guys a lot? People that don't have the memory issues? Yeah. That happens to me a lot, too. They're like, what's wrong with you? Why don't you remember anything? Yeah, it's the worst. Okay, I'm gonna grab my five pound set of weights and I'm just gonna do little hinge curls, okay? For the biceps. Again, start with the two pounds. Try not to like flop the weights because that'll just put strain on your neck. Go nice and slow, keep those forearms parallel to the floor. If you drop the arm by the legs, you're just not gonna feel it as much. Lift those weights, 90 degree angle, to your upper arm. Yes, yes, love it, love it. Stretch out those biceps. I mean, we're working everything, right? There is not a muscle missed. I don't think so. We worked everything. This is why it's a total body shape up workout. It's so, so good. Okay, so for our last and final set of this round, we're gonna come on all fours again. So if you need to, you can roll the mat up to cushion your knees. And if you're having wrist issues, um, you can grab your weights to support your wrist. I'm gonna grab one five pound dumbbell, put it behind my leg, but again, you do not need any dumbbells for this as long as you squeeze the booty and you squeeze the back of the leg. Just gonna do a little lift, squeezing that weight, and then tap the knee down. Make it count. Do the extra little lift at the top here to squeeze the back of your legs and your booty. You can still go halfway, but go halfway from the center and then up. Instead of going halfway from the floor to the center. You guys know what I mean? Halfway and then all the way to the top. If you have that weight, be careful it doesn't slide out from the back of your leg. I've had that happen so much. Okay, felt the burn, felt the burn. Child pose. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, catch your breath. <sighs> and you only have one more side to go. Yes, I'm so excited. Although it's been really fun, I have to admit. I've enjoyed this workout, it's been really, really fun. Definitely a go-to for pain days and fatigue days. This is great for people dealing with fatigue too, don't forget. Fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue are, are very closely linked. Adrenal fatigue, all the autoimmune diseases, illnesses, they're all linked. So these workouts are great for so many different ailments. Just go slow, do what feels natural. Anything that feels awkward or painful probably isn't good for your body at this time. It might be challenging, that's different, but if it's painful, that's not good. 
We did it. Yes, we did it. Oh man, it was amazing. I loved every second of that one. How about you guys? Yes. Woo. I could stay here forever. So, so, so good. Enjoy. Oh, you made it to the stretch and cool down. Please don't turn the video off at this point. You need to do this to lengthen all those muscles out and prevent any unnecessary pain or fatigue, okay? So this is your reward. This is the best part. So we're gonna start just lengthening and stretching out everything we worked today, which is basically everything. So put one hand on the floor, just gonna reach up and over, reaching as high as you can. Relax your head and neck, don't strain it, just relax. You can look down at the floor if you need to. And then bring it up, let's switch sides. How do you feel? Feel energized? Feel good? Let me know, let me know. I love your feedback and I love your testimonials because it helps me to keep going on my bad days. It helps me to keep making these videos, so please let me know. Okay, so I'm gonna turn to the side just to show you the next stretch. So I'm gonna straighten my legs here. If this is too difficult for you to straighten your legs, you can bend your legs and cross them. I'm gonna straighten them. And I'm just gonna to reach towards my ankles, the tops of my toes, my feet, whatever I can do today. You guys do what you can do and try to lengthen out the back of the legs here. So if your legs are crossed, then you're just gonna reach forward, okay? You are gonna get a different stretch for your glutes as opposed to your hamstrings, but we worked our glutes, so that's a great stretch anyway. So, come out here, hold, hold, hold. Love this one. Relax your head and neck. Amazing. Amazing work. Come on up. Ooh, okay. Reach those arms forward, make your back into a C curve. Push it to one side, open up your lats. Push it to the other side. Center, C curve. Up overhead and down. Clasp both hands behind you, open up your chest. And down. Okay, so we're gonna roll down onto our backs. This is the best stretch. Yes, it is. Again, you can cushion your low back with a towel if you need to. Okay, so tuck your hips up and under so your back's supported. And you're just gonna bring one knee into your chest. Now we're stretching out the hamstrings even more. So if you didn't get that with the seated stretch, then this will help. Very good, let's switch sides. I feel this in my hips. Do you guys feel that here? Okay, so we're gonna stretch those hips out after. Okay, try to straighten that leg if you can. Take your bent knee and cross it over your body, keeping both shoulders on the ground. You don't have to go all the way over if you're feeling a lot of pain or you're not so flexible. But if you can, try to work yourself up to tapping that knee to the floor, keeping both shoulders on the ground. Inhale, exhale, breathe. Let everything just settle. Yes. Okay, slowly come out of that stretch. Straighten that leg now, bend your opposing leg, and we're gonna try to switch sides all the way over. I'm lying on my microphone here, so hopefully it doesn't turn off. Come on out of it. Okay, so you're gonna turn to the side and rest your head on your arm or, or come up on your elbow, whatever is more comfortable for you. Keep both knees bent, stack your hips, and you're just gonna grab the top of your toes and pull back and release. I want you to release because if you keep this continually pulling back, then you might feel some strain in your neck, okay? Grab the top of your toes. 
Oh my goodness. If you have that towel and you have pain in your hips, keep that towel there. If you don't have pain in your hips, you're just gonna come into a low assisted cobra here. Lengthen everything out. Okay, now you're just gonna help yourself up and take your knees out wide into a wide leg child's pose here. You feel that in your hips, right? This is the hip flexor stretch. This is amazing. Do this one often, especially if a lot of your pain is in your low back or your hips because your low back and hip flexors are connected. If you have pain in the low back, usually it's because your hips are tight. So stretch this out often, multiple times a day, yes. Okay, slowly come out of that. Now we're gonna go to the other side. I'm gonna take this puppy out here. Make sure it's still working. Okay, come down. Hopefully the transition isn't too painful for you. If it is, I'm so sorry. Maybe you can get a thicker cushion, a thicker mat, or put your mat, like double your mat up so you have two or three mats and release so that you have a lot more cushion when you're moving around here. It really lengthens out the shoulder as well. Okay, so try to turn yourself onto your back a little microphone here and this is the part where I want you to just relax let your arms fall to the floor let your head fall to the floor let your toes relax relax your eyes relax your jaw relax your fingers inhale up and exhale out and if you have time, I want you to just stay here for a couple minutes and enjoy what you just did. And that's it. You made it through your total body shape up workout for chronic pain and fatigue. I'm so proud of you guys. You should be proud of yourself. That wasn't easy, but I guarantee if you stick with it, you will notice changes in how you feel and look. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys wanna support me to help keep making these videos here, then please you can do so by subscribing, hitting that button and hitting the little bell because that alerts you to when I release new videos so you never miss one. Also, you can like or thumbs up if you enjoyed this video because not only does it give me feedback, but it helps us to be more easily found in YouTube search engine. I can't even talk. Okay, please do that. Thank you. And if you'd like to support um, me as well to keep going, you can also do so now on Patreon. The link is below in the description. So thank you so much. I hope you have an amazing, energetic, stress-free, pain-free day. Take care.